What's up? I just want to share a concept that I think hip hop needs to take on about micro mechanical licensing deals. Micro mechanical licensing deals offered to the public in order for the public to earn royalties off your intellectual property. And what you earn is money up front that helps to fund your project. You know, the industry is changing and a lot of people are looking for uh, the ways to, you know, profit off your art. I believe that, uh, you know, opening up, basically we already do licensing deals, but we do them with big record executives or people, you know, who want the lump, the lion's share or normally half or a portion of your income from the recording. Well, instead of signing a big contract, because you need uh, half a million dollars, you sign a contract to a record label, you could get that same amount of money by selling micro mechanical licensing deals on your intellectual property or your compositions, your songs to the public. So, uh, all right, it go like this. You take, say you got one micro mechanical licensing deal worth one point of a song on your album. You take half of that song and you make it public, meaning 50% of the song can be purchased for, not in perpetuity, not forever, for a limited amount of time. Maybe they could earn residuals or they could earn royalties off of that song for three years. If they pay at 1%, because they got one micro mechanical licensing deal. See what I mean? It's lightweight genius. It's better than all the Kickstarter, Patreon. It's better than everything, really, because it's offering the an opportunity to earn income off of artists that they support's music. Now, imagine if the biggest artist did this. Uh, this this just giving a, a a a physical example of how much money this could generate. Take a 10 song album and say you was gonna make 50% of that album public. That's 50 points that can be licensed out for your licensing fee, whatever you choose. Say the licensing fee was, uh, say the licensing fee $200 a point. This is for the smallest artist. I'm just giving a modest example. $200 and they earn 1% off the royalties of that song for three years. You got 50 points on that, on that one out, on that one album. Wait a minute. If that, even if you did it for a hundred dollars, you make 50 grand, if I'm not wrong, 50 grand off one album because you, or you have the potential to raise 50 grand off one album because you got 50 points on one album for a hundred dollars or you can make a hundred grand if you charge two hundred dollars a point you see how, how beautiful that is and you just got five let me show you why because it's a 10 song album that means you got 500 points to sell and you're selling them at a hundred dollars are you selling them at two hundred dollars that's simple one song you selling 50 percent of the song are you licensing out? You're not really selling it. License is giving them permission to exploit it for a limited amount of time. So you're going to license out 50% of that one song, $100 a share. That's five racks for that one song. You got 10 songs on that album. That's 50 grand up front for the smallest, most humble artist because a hundred dollar investment is nothing to anybody, especially if they got the opportunity to double or triple their money or what, what have you dealing with whatever artists they invested in. Now, if you look at bigger artists, even a modest artist charging a thousand dollars a share um, or a point or a percent of the song, that means that artist just generated 500,000 up front. That means you generate a million dollars by selling one point. You see, a million dollars. If you sell 500 points at two grand, you just generated a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? And and a, 
And if you do the math, trust me, I've done the math already. I looked at numbers of how much one song generates in the duration of about three years for successful artists, hit records, modest uh, artists, and you know, artists not that successful. And you can see that it's an idea and a plan that hip hop needs to hear because first of all, it's not nothing just for me to harness for myself. I could just do it, I'm gonna do it, but people need, we need to set up a new economy in hip hop in order for people to beautify themselves and the communities. Let me, let me, let me show you how this would work. One album, just one album could have 500 people with a vested interest in the success of that album because if that album is successful, they get paid. Now you can sell different type of micro mechanical licensing deals. And what's most genius, you can sell some in perpetuity or some forever in order for the investor or the person, the supporter to be able to pass down those royalties to their heir. See what I mean? We need to use our music to generate generational wealth. You know what I'm talking about? And so, I keep looking at the screen like the camera's on the screen with the camera down here. But but you know what I mean? To build generational wealth, and this is one way to do so. Imagine what would be like hip hop portfolios of people who pay little bits of money to have small percentages of certain songs. You know what I'm saying? And uh and then and some they collect in perpetuity, so they're gonna hand it down to their kids. And another thought had just came to me about it. I mean, it's, it's almost unstoppable, but I don't, I actually don't just want to run off. I just want to fill people in on the idea that it could spark some thought in the hip hop community. We talk about uh, 401ks for artists. We talk about artists, but think about how we can make normal everyday people who don't have intellectual property people who work nine to fives, rich, of creating new projects strictly for this purpose. Like you could say, okay, I don't wanna do this with, you got the permission to do it whatever piece of your property that you own. And so you could say, I'm not doing that with this album, but I'll make an album to do that with because I think that it's gonna work and generate a lot. I mean, I did the numbers on, if the, Top 100 artists did this and sold their shares for 20 grand for one, 20 grand for one point, they raised a billion dollars. Go get your calculators. If the, run this formula through, if the top 100 artists, and it would not be hard, there would be 50,000 micro mechanical licensing deals generated from the top 100 artists opening up and saying okay on these next projects we do we're going to make half of them public since we've been giving this money to big record execs now we got the apparatuses we don't need them we can let the public support the album and earn from it see that's why it's different than a kickstarter or anything else because you you can support artists there on Patreon or Kickstarter, but you can't earn. There's no way for you to earn from putting up your support. And this is it. So this is the 401k for artists. This is all of that. Because again, it's mutually beneficial and that's the big head science to it. It's offering mutually beneficial plans and programs in hip hop, you know what I'm saying? That'll help people get their paper. That's what it is. Micro mechanical licensing deals. Peace.